One of my viewers wanted to see uh, me use a spectrum analyzer to test uh, modulation on a ham radio, in particular a uh, suppressed carrier. Um, so we've looked at simple modulations, we've looked at uh, AM modulation and FM modulation, we haven't looked at sideband modulation, and uh, in particular uh, either upper or lower single sideband uh, with suppressed carrier, and so that's what usually ham radios have. And so uh, I brought out my uh, Kenwood uh, TS430, uh, which is working great. My other radio works good for receive, but it's got problems with transmit. So uh, I've gone through this one, replaced all the capacitors. I know it works great, tuned the, the uh, final amplifiers and stuff. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and um, send this through to a uh, dummy load. And this dummy load has an RF tap, and so the RF tap goes over to the uh, uh, goes over to the um, spectrum analyzer. And so what we will do, so let me explain what I'm going to do, and then I'll just have the uh, camera on the uh, on the spectrum analyzer. So I'm going to go through the different modes. So this uh, radio uh, can do lower sideband, upper sideband, CW, AM, and FM. Uh, so uh, we'll try all of this modulations and on the lower side band and upper side band we will look at the uh, uh, carrier suppression uh, try to measure that all right now um, I need to inject a tone uh, when I do these tests and I've tried whistling but I can't whistle consistently so I have a, a test um, file here on my iPhone that is a one kilohertz tone and so I could turn that tone on and then I'll hold the uh, I'll hold the microphone up to the iPhone and we'll send that one kilohertz through the microphone and take a look at the uh, take a look at the modulation that way all right so the first signal we'll take a look at is CW uh, here's the carrier and everything everything looks good uh, the peak here uh, is at minus, might as well write these down, uh, the peak for CW is at minus 8.95. Now that doesn't mean much, it's going to be a relative measurement because it's going through an RF tap, there's no direct correlation to any type of power or anything, it's just a relative measurement. But that's what the, uh, that's what CW is putting out. Uh, let's try AM, so let me turn on AM, there's the carrier of the AM. So the carrier of the AM is a bit lower. It's minus 11.7, uh, let's say. And, okay. So let's put in that one hertz, to uh, uh, yeah, one, uh, one kilohertz tone. All right, we'll need to uh, zoom in so we can see the carriers, uh, the sidebands. So we'll zoom in to um, 10 kilohertz. Okay, so I've done a single sweep and uh, captured it. Uh, so this is our AM. Our AM is, uh, like I said, measuring about 11 point, uh, 11.25. Um, and so we can see the one kilohertz uh, side tones. Um, they look about right. One kilohertz should be one division. And we can do a modulation depth. This, this analyzer has a special function. I say uh, percent modulation and automatically finds those three peaks and says you're doing 11% modulation. Um, all right, so that's what AM looks like. And so there's the carrier. So remember the carrier is about at minus 11. And so uh, let's go back and uh, let's do single sideband. We'll do lower sideband first. And take a single sweep. All right. So you can see the carrier is gone. It's in the center. The side band is uh, side band is present. It's one kilohertz to the left of the uh, carrier, and our carrier is measuring at minus seventy-two. Okay. So we've gone from eleven down to seventy-two. So that's uh, about a sixty. 60 dB drop in carrier. All right. So 
All right, here's upper sideband, one kilohertz to the right, and the carrier is at minus 72. Uh, once again, so carrier suppression is about 60 dB. Um, so all your transmitting power is going into the uh, into the sideband. Looks great. And just for fun, let's go ahead and take a look at FM. FM requires us to go wider. We're going to span 20 kilohertz, so it should have a, a deviation of about 10 kilohertz. So we'll go span 20 kilohertz and let's put it on FM. All right, so there is our FM signal and we can try to measure the deviation, let's say about halfway down and halfway down looks like about uh, seven and a half kilohertz. Uh, We can come down here to the to the base. Oh, sorry if I get in the way of the camera. It's really hard for me to film this thing. And let's put the delta marker back on. And we'll come over to this side. And we'll go to that peak there. And 10.75 kilohertz. So there's your uh, 10 kilohertz deviation on the FM signal. So uh, I hope that helps. The uh, suppressed carrier looks good on this radio, and uh, modulations seem to be, uh, you know, perfectly fine. And uh, you can see that the lower sideband is on the left-hand side, the lower side, and the upper sideband is on the upper side.